hydroplane. Niggas can't keep in they lane. It ain't no thing. My shit so biggity, biggity, bang. Yep, bang, nigga. K I doing my thing, nigga. Young boy, he done upgrade from that Cavalier to that range. Alright guys, this is Kime Interviews. We are here with Kyle. If you could just uh Tell us about this tour and um, how stoked you are to be on it, and who's all on it, and where you guys are going. I need to, I need to grab this. Or? No, no, oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm Kyle. Um, this is the Beautiful Loser tour. We're doing this off of my album that I just dropped. Um, I got everybody in Super Duper with me. I'm touring with Mr. Man. I'm touring with Ugly. I'm touring with Brick. I got CP on a lot of the shows. It's it's great, man. We're having fun. We're fucking. Uh, Headed everywhere, like in California, basically. If you're in California, you're probably going to see us. Dope. All right, so um, we're going to start off with some personal questions, just like get to know you a little bit better, um, something about your life. So let's just start off with um, how did you become a rapper? Like what, what influenced you? Yeah. You know, like what made you decide like rapping's it? That, that's a good question. Um, uh, I remember the first time I heard a rap song, I was like, I was like um, 10. And I was in my dad's car, and I heard this uh, this ODB song come on that, uh, you know, that, hey, dirty, hey, dirty, I got your money. Yeah, that one. I heard that shit. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, this shit is so hard. Like, this is amazing. And then after that, I was just like, I'd always wrote poems and stuff, and I thought, like, damn, this is easy. And I just started writing raps and shit, and then, you know, yeah, from there, I, I'd always wanted to be, like, a music entertainer person. And then when I started rapping, I was like, might as well. Yeah. <laughs> what other kind of music do you listen to? Um, I listen to like uh, a lot of R&B stuff. Um, I listen to like a lot of like, like, uh, like shit like uh, like Weezer and like fucking Nirvana and shit. I did when I was a kid. And I listen to um, I listen to like some EDM stuff too, like Carnage and stuff. Um. And, uh, yeah, I listened to one country song, but it was featuring, it was featuring Nelly, so it's not really a country song. It was, yeah. like, halfway. But yeah. So, like, is that what you were kind of raised on? Like, what, what was your upbringing like, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Like, um, you know, like, what kind of kid were you in high school? And, like, what did people know you for and, like, whatnot? Yeah. Uh, damn, that's a lot. <laughs> what were you known for? Yeah, what were you known for? Um, am I, I uh... Um, in high school, I did a lot of like musical theater stuff. Mm -hmm. like, I was like a drama kid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I I do hella. Uh, I like write hella plays and stuff, and do like the whole little acting, little drama, dancing, loser thing. It's mad sad, but yeah, that's what I was like kind of known for in high school and rapping and shit. I also yeah, yeah. rapped off to the side. So um, I know that like you got a fat start on like world star hip hop and like your video yeah, it's up to like don't fuck with me now, but yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like you know it's just like blew you up so like what was that like just seeing that response like whoa like millions of people are looking at my shit right now you know like dog it was so crazy i remember i was at uh i was at magic mountain and my, i didn't have a reception up there for some reason so i couldn't like really tell what was going on but then uh like people started texting me and shit like yo like the video's getting a gang of views i remember um i remember mr man texting me like yo like the shit is crazy it's on world star yada yada i was like world star has never fucked with me before ever ever they don't like me i'm not hood enough or something they don't post my shit but for some reason that time they did and then and then when it just it just went dumb and it was so crazy to, to get that much love in like a short couple of days. Like it hit like five hundred thousand views like in two or three days. And I was just like, what the like that shit has never happened to me before. So it was crazy. It was a great feeling. It was like getting that breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? You know how you always think you need some type of hand that was like totally that handout. I was like, ah, this was easy type of thing. Yeah. It was dope. So um another question is like, why did you change your name from kid to Kyle? Like why was that sort of you know, a plan that you were like, yeah, like, let's, let's change this up, you know? Well, I mean, I don't, I'm like, Kyle is my government name. Mm -hmm. Um, and like, it was actually KID, it stood for, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it, it was like an acronym, it wasn't just KID, but I don't know, I feel, I feel like they kind of did the same thing too, like KID was supposed to have like, sort of like a, like a, uh, happy like type of name not like an extra like you I, I wouldn't expect like 
KID to be wearing hella Gucci and shit, and I wouldn't expect Kyle to either. I feel like they kind of did the same thing, and like I just feel like it's like longer lasting. You know what I'm saying? Like I can only be KID until I'm fucking 24, and then I start getting a little weird. It's like 48 year old KID is like creeping on kids and shit. Yeah. I'd rather just be Kyle. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so what's your favorite thing to do when you're not touring? Like, what do you enjoy doing and recreation? When I'm not touring, uh, I like like badly playing basketball. I just got into that shit. See, it, I I didn't play my entire life until now. So the only issue is like I suck. But you can ask anybody here. I fucking I go and I I play uh, basketball into my alter ego, Ty Jeffers. And um, when I'm not when I'm not sucking on the court, I like whoop ass in NBA 2K 13. Oh. Anybody get served? You'll get served. You'll get served, you'll get served, you'll get served. But not me, though. Oh, God. I mean, you, we can set it up. If you really, really want to, you know, put some money on it, I'll take anybody. You know, hit me up. What on, team do you play as? Uh, either, like, the, the Knicks or the Lakers. I know they're both mad good, but, I mean, why not fuck with, like, a good-ass team? Yeah, yeah. With the Knicks, I'm mean. I'm serious. Carmelo, right? dude. Yeah, Carmen Carmelo's a boss, but more than that, it's like fucking J.R. Smith is, has such Michael Jordan tendencies. He just randomly just won't miss shit. Just have the most fucked up shots, smoke hella cigarettes before he gets on the court. Yeah, he just looks like a fucking uh, prison convict, but... I heard he got tattooed, like, on the court. I don't know. That might have been someone else, but I heard someone got tattooed, he like... sounds like the type of dude who get tatted on the court while, like, talking to his parole officer and shit. Like, hold on, I'm about to go make this layup. I'll get back at you. And go fucking through the legs. One of the controversial topics going on right now is the Kendrick Lamar control verse. What do you think about it? I mean, honestly, it's he didn't really diss them. He just said he wants to beat them. I mean, I don't like. I want to fucking beat them too. He just, he just actually said it. That's the type of shit I'm thinking of. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, I want to fucking wipe out every other rapper and be the biggest fucking best shit. I think, I, th- I think that's what Kendrick wants to fucking do. And like, I don't know. Hella people. The, the funny thing about that is, hella people that weren't mentioned are like the ones making responses and shit. Mm-hmm. Like nobody, nobody talked to you. <laughs> nobody said shit to you. Like, quit. You feel me? Like. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, random rap. Like, B.O.B. made a response. He wasn't mentioned. Joey Badass was, like, going off on Twitter. Bro, nobody spoke to you either. Nobody spoke to a ton of fucking dudes. Like, Papoose was not mentioned. <laughs> Papoose had nothing to do with that whole thing. Yeah. And he just had to make, a like, a fucking three-hour-long diss track for nothing. Going hard on Kendrick. Like, when, like shut up. <laughs> That's that's what I have to say about it. He didn't diss him. It's all good. You feel me? Yeah. So you think it's good for rap yeah, like that? If I go to New York, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm just saying it like it is, okay? I'm just saying it like it is. It's all. I'm just saying it like it is. It's all good, New York rappers. You're still hella good. Smile, okay? It's fine. Papu, shut up. <laughs> All right, so uh, on to writing, um, you just re- recently released the album, obviously. Yeah. Um, what was the writing recording process like? Like, who'd you record it with? Where at? How do you formulate your lyrics? Uh, the writing recording process was super s- simple and like super organic because it was like mad in house. Mm-hmm. I didn't really do a lot. I did. I recorded the majority of everything basically like right then and there at. Uh, at uh, Indie Pop Studios where I record shit at with like the same only like if you check the producer credits it's not like that many like different people and shit it's like m- probably somebody had like each producer has like two or three tracks on there so um yeah it just felt it felt like I had a lot of time to do it and it felt natural and it was like it was mad good um yeah I can't I can't reveal my secrets of how I fucking <laughs> make these how you're so good magic, make this magic yeah I gotta keep that on a hush just no, it just didn't. It, it wasn't with like a ton of other people. It was like the fam. Yeah. So, um, what does the name "Beautiful Loser" mean? Like, where did that come from? Well, um, I was funny story. I was actually Dave Kappa, the dude who like produced all my uh, earlier shit and like a lot of my shit now. Like a super good friend of mine. We were on uh, Skype trying to sand because before before this we had never met each other. We were like trying to fucking. We were just working on everything over Skype, mm-hmm. and I um and I told him I wanted him to sample this song by Bob Seger. You know who Bob Seger is, mm-hmm. 
yep. you know, Beautiful Loser, the the song. Yeah, I was like, yo, I was like, we should sample this shit. And then while we were like trying to figure out a way to sample it, we were like, man, I want to make the album about like me. In two words, I want to describe like me. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to describe like shit I fucking represent and like care about. And it was talking, you know, and it's like, he was just like, we should just call it Beautiful Loser. He's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you're like a, a rapper doing all like this shit. People are like, ah, oh, cheering for you. But in reality, if you weren't a rapper or anything, like your normal day to day life shit mm-hmm. was like shit that would be considered a, a loser. Mm-hmm. Like fucking being in drama and, and taking and pride in playing fucking 2K, hella good. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and I thought that a lot of what I represent and shit like fell into that name mad perfectly. So when he said it, I was like, yeah, let's do that. So thank you, Dave, for the name. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so what would you say the message of this album is? Like, you know, you said it's about yourself and describing yourself. Like, what what else do you think it entails? Uh, I mean, I think that, the you know, the the message of Beautiful Loser is like, whatever you do is fucking straight. Whatever you do is okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in the song Keep It Real and whatnot, like, talking about, like, being proud of fucking being yourself especially in like in hip-hop is such a like a fucking you gotta be like one way type of thing you know what i'm saying it's such like a judgmental genre it was like i I wanted to put out an album that was like really talking about fucking being proud of even if you're a loser like it's mad beautiful you know what i'm saying like there's other people who do a lot worse shit than you and would think they're fucking cool or great or whatever so fucking it was yeah it's like Take pride in who you are and don't fucking change that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like. I appreciate it a lot because I'm a pizza guy. So See, I was know. like, thank you. Thank you. Um, pizza guys are cool. They're not that. They guys don't catch like yeah. bad rap. Pizza dudes. Pizza dudes are straight. They're, like, they're not like, hey, you're a pizza guy. <laughs> Bitch. <It's> like, nobody, <laughs> nobody does that. All right. So, uh, last question What's next for either touring, recording after this tour? What are you doing? Just touring more, or where are you going, or what? I'd like to fucking I'd like to tour more because I think I have like a ton of fans in other places now that I can't fucking get to. Like, I keep getting people like, "Oh, come to the East Coast. You don't like the East Coast. You don't like New York. Papoose is gonna diss you because you're not coming out. You're doing shows." So I'm mad scared because I don't want that to happen. You know, because I don't want to have to try and like I don't want to do that. So I, I really want to tour a bunch. You know what I'm saying? Do more shows, get out, see fans and shit, see all the people. Um, I'm already working on like recording the next shit. I just like to fucking make songs all the time mm-hmm. and then like fucking compile shit. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully I get out and get to tour and shit and see more people and fucking give somebody another great ass, groundbreaking fucking breakthrough album like sometime next year. Dope. All right, guys. Well, that is Kyle. This is Kyle Interviews. Take it easy. Say that I sound like Drake, I don't. Your daughter thinks that I'm great, I know. Your motherfucking CD package needs to come with a bar of soap. Cause honestly, your verses stink. That shit puts me straight to sleep. Even if I ain't having nose, I can tell that your verses read.